Imagination is the key And with Flexo you will see a flexillion possibilities Incredible Welcome along Flexo fam Whoever said you weren't allowed to play with your food? Certainly not us This week we're making a slice of cake now there's many different kinds of cake that you could make. Chocolate cake, cheesecake. We're going for a wee slice of cheesecake, a plate and a spoon. If you'd like to make one yourself, these are the parts that you'll need. Here are the colors that we've used for our cheesecake. All right fam, let's get making. We'll begin by making the base for our cake. Follow along with us here as we join these three rectangle bricks with T5 tendons. Now we add one square at each end connected by a T3. Lay your bricks out beforehand, that makes things a lot easier. So we'll add a rectangle, a square and a triangle connected with T3s to each side of our rectangle strands that we made. One T5 just on one side here, and you'll see why that is shortly. And then we're going to begin doming to lock off those books. So here's the pattern that we've used, and note on the left hand side there, we've kept that very far edge of studs completely clear of dome. Turning over, we're going to brace the sides. So you'll see here we're clipping on another rectangle brick underneath. This just firms up the sides of our cake. Now it's just a case of folding the sides in and then using our 180 degree bend technique to move those tendons up into place on top. So use your thumb and just guide the tendon in and then we're going to lock them off with domes. We leave a 2x2 two two stud area free, that's where our little strawberry slice is going to go later. And here's that one T5 tendon that we left before. We can fold that around the front and secure with domes. Now we secure the other side using the same technique and this time we're inserting our domes as we go. Oftentimes this is a lot easier. As soon as you get the tendon into place, lock it off with domes. So we've gone for pink icing on top and then lovely tan domes underneath for the crust of our cheesecake. We'll use T3 tendons around the outside of a circle brick and then here's our little strawberry slice. Just a red triangle and a green T5. We can insert that side on on top of our whipped cream white brick and then we can just place them both together onto that 2x2 two two stud pattern that we left before. But there's a delicious slice of cake. So we want something to serve our cake on, so we're just going to make a very simple plate. This one begins by making a pattern that involves alternating square and triangle bricks, one after the other, using T3 tendons. 
and you just keep following your way around until you've got a ring. Square, then triangle, square, triangle again, all the while just using our T3 tendons. Until we can join them together now. And there's our ring. Now we're going to insert T3 tendons around the inside of the ring. And we're going to then connect triangle bricks to fill in the gaps. So one triangle brick for each of the T3 tendons in the middle. And then we want to make sure that we secure the triangles to each other by using more T3 tendons just so that we've got a nice sturdy plate for our cake to sit on. Now we want to decorate our cake plate with some domes. We've gone for a very simple pattern, blue domes around the outside and white to fill in the middle. And then for a very simple wee spoon, a light grey circle brick, a light grey T19 tendon and some domes. There's your beautiful cake fam. Now I'm pretty hungry. How about you? If you liked this delicious video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell because every week we're coming up with more exciting builds. That's all for this week fam. Keep up with your imaginations and we'll see you next week.